Let's get her pitter-patter, as they say. Ooh. What is your name, young man? What is your name? My name is uh, Harry Pippin. Harry Pippin. Harry, first and foremost, allow me to give you your stipend. We cannot, we can't, oh, we'll see here. Okay, okay. There you go, my friend, there you go. Yes, buckle up, buckle up. Nice and buckled. All right, we have a small car ride and then a beautiful lift. We, my friend, we are going to part the veil that separates this world from the unknown. We are going to expose truths that some may find controversial, my friend. Do you believe? Do you believe in the weird, the unknown, my friend? Eh, sometimes I can believe in it. There you go. An open mind, that's all I ask of my viewers and of my compatriots. What of extraterrestrials, Pippin? Do you believe in aliens from outer space? Yeah, there's got to be something that built some of this stuff. I believe that too, my friend, for it is, as the quote goes, man's greatest ego trip is his belief that he is in fact alone in this big, dark universe, my friend. It is mind-boggling to believe that we are a single speck in the middle of the vast unknown, the only sentient being. Oh, no, no, my friend. They're out there. And tonight we are going to prove definitively. Alrighty, I'm, I you caught my uh, intrigue. Beautiful, my friend. Beautiful. For I want to sense that excitement when you use your camera. I want to know that you are hungry for the truth. And when you bring that lens upon me in this exceptional find that you are gonna gobble it up and make our viewers believe as much as I do, my friend. Oh, Pippin, the times we're gonna have. Hmm. Times. Oh my excited. goodness. We're not gonna get abducted, are we? <laughs> Certainly not. Certainly not. You know, there's a little, a commune, some might call it, on the East Coast, over there by Sandy, where a bunch of hippies believe that they are going to be taken back to the mothership. They're running around naked. Some weird sex cult, if you ask me. But this, my friend, this is hard fact. This is artifact dating, dating centuries, potentially millennia ago. Oh, I cannot wait for you to see this. Um, I'm excited. As long as I don't get pro. Oh, fingers crossed, Pippin, fingers crossed. No, 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 it, this is, oh, I've been researching this for quite some time, Pippin, you know, this is actually the third installment in my series. The first installment took us, oh, Pippin, the first installment took us to the cliffs just beyond the eastern slopes of Chiliad, where we relieved the longing the aching soul of a poor departed young woman who was trapped in an incorporeal form. But now she is no longer trapped alone, my friend. She has some measure of relief. Mm, that was a beautiful, beautiful episode. What happened to her? Oh, she was, she was taking from us too early. Excuse me. <coughs> <coughs> oh my goodness oh my goodness I do need a sip of this water <clears throat> there we go Whew, a little bit a little bit I thought I was going down <laughs> no but she had taken to the cliffs because she had heard that her lover was meeting 
with another woman. And as she, from behind the bushes, scouted and saw her one and only true love meeting with her own sister, she was driven mad. She confronted them. And one cannot be too certain whether she was thrown from that cliff or she had thrown herself. But each morning she does appear calling out to her lost lover. <clears throat> I need my water bad. It's exciting. Oh, yes. Everybody should, everybody should try to commune to reach out to the other side. And then my second episode took us to a cave system where it is believed that the Hadels of the Under-Earth who live in the hollow earth beneath the thin mantle reside. Oh, that was quite a harrowing experience entering that cave. Excuse me, motorist. <coughs> ah, oh my goodness. Mm. We near our destination, friend. <clears throat> oh yeah, you are almost there. Beautiful, beautiful. <clears throat> mm. We'll do a little shot just before we step upon the lift, my friend. And then the big reveal. Oh, there you are, Pippin. There you are. <clears throat> oh, I've never used one of these. Oh, don't worry. Oh, you are doing well. Just make sure you are in movie mode and not the news. I have no affiliation with the channel. Let's get a little shot. <clears throat> Excuse me. Is there what? Hmm? Uh, do I need to hit a record button? Oh, it is all, on? it is all sent live feed to my backup servers, where I will send it out to my producer, who will then cut it up with the editors and serve it up hot, hot, hot. Okay, my friend, give me a little shot. I would like a little bit of the mountaintop and the tram going up as we make our introduction for this episode. Let me know when you are ready, my friend. <clears throat> All righty, I'm ready. Okay, and give me the countdown from four. <coughs> four, three, two, one. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It is I, yet again, River Styx. Tonight we stand at the foot of Mount Chiliad in front of the glorious lift that will take us up, up, up and away into the night sky where we will uncover an ancient monolith that will turn you skeptics into true believers, my friend, true believers. On this evening, I will prove to you definitively that we are in fact not alone. And cut, my friend. <laughs> now we just wait for the next tram. Oh, Pippin, this is exciting. This is exciting. Have you ever been up on Mount Chiliad, my friend? No, I have not. Oh, my goodness. It is a sight to behold away from the city lights where the air is rarefied and fresh and you can see to no end. Oh, it's a beautiful, beautiful thing. 
Any moment now, the tram shall come back down. Oh, and I do believe I see it now. Perfect. Oh, perfect. Mm. Now on the credits, how exactly would you like your name, Pippin? Just so I can relay this information to my editors. Oh, perfect. Harry Pippin. And also, Pippin, well, we have a moment when we are on this tram. I'm going to relay to you my phone number. I would appreciate if you would text me your first and last name with proper spelling. All righty. There you go, my friend. There you go. <coughs> Hark, our chariot comes. I suggest you step inside before you attempt to use it, Pippin. Once we are both soundly aboard, we shall begin our ascent. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. All right, my friend. And just hang tight, and we will be on our way. You got a spider on your foot. I know, so do you. It's just the it's the way of it, my friend. Just hang in there. And uh oh, this thing takes off. Mm-hmm. It sure uh, does. What was your name again? My name is off. River. <coughs> <coughs> oh, I'm still sick, guys. Try not to do too much aboard the tram, my friend. It's, um, how we say, slightly scuffed. And I would hate for you to just have an accident and fall out. I have seen it before. <clears throat> Get my uh, text message? Yes, I did, my friend, and I truly appreciate that. I didn't get Jack. This is a very nice tram ride. Oh yes, it is quite lovely. <clears throat> Sometimes when I am getting ready to write a new script for a show, I find myself taking this tram back and forth, back and forth. <laughs> People watching keeping my eyes to the sky, trying to see what's looking back at me. <laughs> <clears throat> you know, Harry, when you open yourself to the unknown, that's when it, it takes notice of you, my friend. Do not be surprised. Do not be surprised if things get a little weird, Pippin. If you start seeing little shadows out the corner of your eyes, if you start wondering if that was actually somebody over at that corner over there, who when you turned back is no longer there. Oh, the world of the weird is all around us, Piffin. You just have to look. You just have to look. Near our destination. Prepare yourself, my friend. Steal your mind. Prepare your heart for your entire world as you once knew it. It is all going to be changed, my friend. <coughs> Beautiful, isn't it? Okay. Camera out, my friend. Train it on me. All right. 
<clears throat> and in three, two, one, and ladies and gentlemen, we have reached the summit. Myself and my stalwart compatriot Pippin are about to show you, the viewers at home, the truth. Everything that you knew, believed, and loved will change here today, my friend. Did you believe that we all came from that fabled rib? That we were formed from mitochondria? clawing their way eventually out of the oceans. No, 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 my friends. Today I will prove to you definitively that this entire world has been populated via panspermia. That greater beings other than ourselves that we do not know came to this planet one day and seeded it so that we may grow but to what end, my friends, to what end? Were they just our benevolent overlords doing what they can to spread life throughout the universe? Or is there a more sinister, sinister plot at hand, my I friend? Let us, let us see. Please follow me over here, ladies and gentlemen, for I have here for your viewing pleasure, the ultimate truth. Please, oh my goodness, would you just look at this, ladies and gentlemen? Please come in here, my friend, come in here and get the close shot. You can see here a timeline, my friend. From the bottom of the pyramid, from the bottom you see they came here and they brought their kin. I do believe this egg is representative of a lizard. Yes, my friends, it is true. The cold-blooded bastards are among us. They came here on their spaceship and they seeded this planet. It is my belief through years of study of this ancient tablet that we are just pawns at play for ancient aliens can you believe this ladies and gentlemen can you believe that our lives are not our own that our future has been taken from us we have no say in our destiny we are just cogs in the wheel but i ladies and gentlemen I have decided to buck the system. I will not stand idly by and allow them to dictate my life. I will cut the problem out at the root. Much like cancer, you have to dig deep and cut deep till you remove every bit of the poison inside of the body. Ah! Ah! You son of a bitch. You think that I don't know? You think that I didn't see you following me? Oh, the car was not between the lines, he says to me. Well, guess what? I see through everything, Pippin. I see the truth. And now you can no longer hunt me with your pack mates. As it should. As it should. Do you think I would allow you to prey on humanity? Do you think that we 
would idly stand by while you desecrate everything that we have spent centuries building? Not today. Let this be a lesson to you and your hatchmates that I will be ever...